Hi there, signs of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do a reading. Make sure I've got everything in view. I think I got everything in view. Okay, so we are going to uh, pull from the tarot. Let's use the good tarot. I've kind of had it with the Osho Zen at least for a little while. So I'll just put it there. Yeah. <laughs> Or we could do the Surrealist Tarot. Well, let's do the Good Tarot because it's bigger. All right, so we're asking that your angels and your spirit guides join us. So the messages are, well, as clear and concise as they can be. Messages for Capricorn, please. We take uprights or the cards that go in upright. I do read reversals for other decks, just not this particular one. And um, we're going to use the Rider weight deck to clarify. So let's see what we've got. All right, the Page of Fire. Since, so it's going to be like that. But I do think that the message is that there is something about news coming. It is good news, um, but I would say that there's, yeah, something here about news coming. Okay, and two for the outcome, which is good. That's good. The four of air with the two of water is really, really good for you because it's something that's healing. Um, I would say partnerships, relationships, uh, it's, some, it's in that category because it's the two of water also having to do with some kind of decision or decisions. All right, yeah, let's use the Rider weight and we'll go ahead and clarify some some of these messages. So the page of air is the immediate like issue here. So I would say that is about information gathering. Maybe could be talking about doing your own research into resources. Might be talking about environmental because of the queen of earth. It could be talking about, um, well, yeah, it could be talking about changing, changing, shifting, um, like it's on a, a wave or something like that. Oh, okay. So balance is going to be necessary. Again, you have choices coming out as another main message here in this reading so far. So choices but doing your own research and at the heart of the matter interestingly enough you've got the heart um coming out on that card really strong with the king of fire crowning your reading and then here um at the heart of the matter you have the six of water so that is a soulmate or family connection it's strong um and it could be air sign or fire sign and there is some kind of choice. It, ha it has to do, okay, it has to do with what you feel the truth is about something or someone or your truth. It has to do with some kind of truth. And I would say here that there was a decisive factor or a decision made anyway here in the past energy. All right. Well, that's nice. So all in all, though, I have the Eight of Pentacles um, to just further clarify this Queen of Air energy. So it's like it's all working out. 
it's all working out. All together, you have ten pentacles just kind of staring out because of them, that color being that bright yellow. I'm just seeing that as, um, yeah, the ten of pentacles. The completion, the something to pass on um, through the family. Tell me about the page of air. The sun energy. Okay, so the sun. Just another way to say that something is bright something is light light bright <laughs> did you have a light bright when you're a kid i had a light bright when i was a kid i'm pretty sure uh queen of pentacles um is the challenge but it's also underlying on the clarifying deck so there is enlightenment there's knowledge there's new beginnings or something like that this could really signify just something really big or just something you've never been through before with the sun Tell me what's at the heart of the matter here for Capricorn. What's at the heart of the matter? Again, another six. Now, I don't know if we should take the other ones because they just kind of came out in a clump. But we'll take them because you have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so at the heart of the matter, you have two sixes now. Six of uh, Cups twice. So really strong. That's just amplifying strong strength. Um broadening in numbers of soul family or soul group and in here with the um, ten of pentacle in the reverse with the seven of cups it is about what is truth or what is illusion and seeing the difference but also not letting that compose everything or kind of like rule or or run the way that um, some kind of connections are because there's something about opportunities that could be open to assist in balancing out this family situation um, if something is hinging on the right choices being made the right choices being made or the fact from fiction or I could even look at this as saying the seven of cups like um saying what that somebody chooses the best for themselves too that's also coming about So that's what the heart of the matter, that's, that's why I spent so much time on that because it is really important to know that, yeah, that this is a reading that's basically about information. It might be about resources or business or something like that, but I feel like it's about enlightened information and it does have to do with soul, family, or connections. The King of Fire is crowning, so tell me more about the King of Fire or uh, sometimes associated specifically with Leo energy. So is the sun, so that's interesting. The Ace of Cups, the Chariot in Reverse, and the Knight of Cups. Something that just wasn't moving forward um, from the past is gonna be moving forward, or this is getting something going, although the travel isn't there yet, or there's something about a new beginning or something like that that's kind of like in motion something is like in yeah i feel like that something is in motion here with this knight of cups i've got to put this behind me because this um that fly thing or that likes it Um, so the five of water here is the future energy. So this is whatever is being created, right? Now, also, as far as choices go, that might be why the temptation card is being thrown out here or this devil energy for you, Capricorn. It might have to do with waiting to see what somebody chooses or what somebody's offering. It could be an unexpected something, you know, it could be an apology or a proposal or working together since you do have the two of water there. Tell me about the nine of fire. That is them, the energy of you. So you have assistance from your spirit team. You could say that. Soul family, soul group. Trying to make things balanced and even. Um, it's trying to make the uh, your personal power, uh, pyramid of power here. Making 
possible what you thought was impossible. So the five of water then, why do we have that for future energy? Um, when I look at the five of water, I'm trying to think of it in, a, in this positive light that we could have done work going inside ourselves, making sure that um, we're, you know, aligned with our highest good. And then it's like the next step would be to process any kind of uh, hard emotions to get through processing them. And that's why that five is associated with change too. So processing these emotions and ultimately justice. So seeking your clarity or seeking the um, scales just be balanced. All right. With the three of air, it's what you're thinking about. It's, um, could be thinking about the strength card. You could be thinking about bravery honesty, sadness that's um, calling for people to kind of let go of hard times and be up for a fresh start. And I think it is like working. It is ascending. I think that the the uh, brain or the logical thing that's going on with you right now, whatever that is, is increasing. And But the emotional, like we have the two of water, so it's, it's not as... Um, evident here because of this healing, um, but it will balance out too. So I think that it's just not only talking of a balance of whatever kind of truth, clarity, or justice you're wanting, but a balance of getting more heart into the issue and um, healing with what we know instead of harming with what we know. Okay, and tell me more about the four of air then. So the, whatever kind of healing this might be. Something from the past. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Something from the past. And taking a leap of faith or just being kind of hesitant to go forward taking a leap of faith. But it is the energy here regarding this healing. And uh, there you go again. And then there's the Page of Swords coming out again. Could be talking about a message or a child, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius too, energy. You have two pages here. Could be about others too that are kind of Conglomerate, is that the word? I'll give her a conglomerate, conglomerate. All right, so doing your own research, there you go. And let's pull your angel number for you and maybe some oracle of genetic gifts. Thirty-one. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. It says your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. I am disciplined. And 44, I am supported. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path. Um, an even greater success will come in the future for you. I am supported, Master Number 44. Um, and then your star attunements for high spiritual healing, activation, ascension, and for you to proceed in your uh, life missions. Get attuned to the stars. Look at the stars at night. That's nice. What are these? What the crap? Sorry. I didn't. I didn't realize something was in there, left in there. Okay, chakra healer, clearing and balancing, and um, yoga instructor, okay, body and mind and spirit, all that needs to be, I guess, stretched, so stretch, or go to somebody that knows, um, or look up on YouTube. Someone that knows some yoga. Um, spiritual herbalist, 
I like this one. Spiritual Healer, Healing Rituals, and Ancient Wisdom. All right, Capricorn, that's what I've got for you. Um, sending you light and love. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.